on. Oh, a swap! Oh, oh no, but a swap followed by a light bulb. Here. Four man mosh pit followed by a tomb. Oh no! Oh, a huge light bomb coming in on the Genji, and that's a five man light bomb. They're gonna follow up and they're gonna get one, two, three kills. And it's gonna be everybody dying. Hello and welcome back to the Nexus Gaming Series. I am the Crushinator. Tonight I am bringing you some Heroic Division action. We've got Team New Team taking on Wild Heart Zeta in a Week 2 matchup here. Excited to see it. We've got a lot of familiar faces here in the lobby. And I'm interested to see what the two teams are going to be clashing like. We've got the squads up in the lobby here. Looks like they're getting ready. Hopefully... They'll be ready to start in a moment. So we got one team saying ready. We got one team saying one sec. So while we can, let's check out the map select. Let's check out the map select. What do these teams pick? Team new team. Banning away Sky Temple and Cursed Hollow. Wild Hard Zeta removing Infernal Shrines and Garden of Terror. And we're going to be starting things off on Towers of Doom, courtesy of Team New Team. Solid map, solid starter. Always love to see towers come on through in a series. I wouldn't say it's quite as flexible as Infernal Shrines, but it's pretty close in terms of how many different types of compositions, types of wind conditions you can come through with here on Towers of Doom. There's also some picks you gotta watch out for. You gotta watch out for those stitches, you gotta watch out for those long range poke heroes, Tarandas, Chromies, Hammers, Hanzos. Can all do some good work in delaying objective captures and getting stuff done around the map. Of course, you got to watch out for your globals. I wouldn't be too surprised to see some Dahaka priority here. But you never know. You never know what the comforts are going to be. Another thing you got to look out for here in the Heroic Division is Medivhs. Sometimes those Medivhs come on through at this level of play. So might see a little bit of that in today's draft. Let's do it, Towers of Doom, for game number one. I'll give you I'll give you a secret. If you're if you're watching this on YouTube, you didn't have to endure the vamping, the stalling for time between showing the maps and getting to this draft. Because I edit that out. But here on Twitch, you get the full experience of me trying to buy as much time as possible for an unpredictable lobby. Medivh and Lucio are going to be the opening bands here. There's that Medivh coming into play in that draft. Such is life in the Heroic Division. And there goes that to Haka. God, I'm good at my job. Can you believe it? Let's see what's coming out next here from Team New Team fourth ban. There's a lot of power picks available. We'll see if they want to stick with some targets. We'll see if they want to remove one of the stronger ones. Your Hoggers, your Junkrats, your Hanzos, all sorts of stuff. Still available. Ken again. Hope you're doing well. It's going to be a Brightwing ban, so trying to even up possible global presence. So Wild Hard Zeta going to be showing us the first pick here on Towers of Doom. We'll see if they want to stay generalist. See if they want to take away something off beat. It's just going to be a Junkrat pick. Easy Junkrat. First pick here from Juan Pablo 64. Papa Ken supporting Mini. This is a Mini Ken game. Jockishlu going to start us off here with a Hogger. One of our power picks. Very hard to gank. Very good on the double rotation. And very good to flank. Coming on down to the bottom lane to join these fights. Zenroth is going to show us some Johanna gameplay here for Team New Team. Still as resilient as ever. Still a little bit, you know, a little bit lacking before level 10. But honestly, if you just play a little bit differently, you can get by level 1 to 10 with a Johanna on your team. Wild Hard Zeta, we'll see what they want to do with this Junkrat. Going to be a Stukov here from Ferret. wonder if they've got Stitches in the plans here. Because Stitch's Junkrat used to be the absolute terror of the Nexus. This was pre-Junkrat nerf. But it's still pretty good. 
Secret going to go ahead and show us some Blaze. Blaze Hogger, the eternal matchup in the offlane. Both of them presenting very effective offlane roles in terms of staying alive, in terms of double soaking, and also big team fight presence. Doesn't really get much better than those two picks. Team New Team going to remove Varian here as Varian Stukov. And then follow up with the Junkrat. Concussion Mine is a very lethal round of CC. Phoenix going to be removed here by Wildheart Zeta. Sometimes something you see out of Juan Pablo. Maybe there is a Phoenix on Team New Team as well. Unbelievable. Have we discovered yet another Phoenix player? Is there a third one here on the servers? Guess we'll see. Team New Team looking to round it out here. We got a Maiev and an Anduin. A very scary combo here. Coming on through from Team New Team. Johanna grouping them up. Maiev mowing them down. Anduin with the light bomb. I'm liking this team fight presence here from Team New Team. Goon coming in with a tier one for eight months. Eight months of support from Goon. Thank you so much, friend. Appreciate you being here as... Oh my goodness, it's a thrall. Goon, this was your doing, wasn't it? You told them to pick this thrall. Anubrak going to be coming on through for Danny, and it is a thrall for Kira. Could it have been an Artanis? I say yes. We've got a double. we got a lot of melee here on the side of Wildheart Zeta. we got the Stukov with the melee. we got everyone else except for the Junkrat. Going to be right there on that front line, which is a little scary into a Johanna Maiev, if I'm being totally honest. As Minikan going to round things out with a Sylvanas here. That is a lot of melee into Johanna Maiev. This is... I'm, I'm interested to see the execution of this comp here from Wildheart Zeta. Because right now on paper, this is looking pretty... Pretty rough. Let me say, it's looking potentially rough in teamfights. I'll put it that way. I'll put it that way. Here we go. Game number one. This Heroic Division matchup on the left in the blue. We have Team New Team. Killidan is on Maiev, Zenroth on the Johanna, STC Gambit on the Anduin, Jokishlu on the Hogger, and we've got Miniken on that Sylvanas. On the right and the red, we have Wildheart Zeta, Danny is on Anubarak, Kira on the Thrall, Ferret is playing Stukov, Secret on the Blaze, and Juan Pablo 64 is on the Junkrat. Fight. Prediction. I'll see what I can do. Slash prediction. Start prediction. Hold on. I can do this. TNT, WHZ, start prediction. There you go. The clash here in the mid as we see a route. A route. A route and a silence, and it looks like the side of Team New Teams gets the better of that clear. Starts their way on down to the bottom lane here. Checking in our, le our level 1 talents. No questing talents to be found. As Killidan goes in and finds Ferret, but no follow-up damage to be seen. Prediction is out, as Dudettes is here, and Dudettes loves those predictions. So if you want to throw a couple points in the pot, now's the time. Get quite a long time for this prediction. I don't know how many minutes were put on it, but you get a little bit. Get a little bit. We're at the one-minute mark, so we get to see our sappers being taken by both squads. Looks like neither team is interested in a big invade, at least yet. Senroth and Minikan are going to come across and check this out. Thrall in the mid. Blaze is coming down just in case, but it was just a check, just a check. Team New Team is going to get Zenroth over the wall there. Nice unstoppable, though, as Danny was coming in for the stuns. Iron skin used there by Zenroth. I have looking for an engage there on the edge. Juan Pablo's moving it over to the side. As Kira coming on down, we're going to see a root onto Zenroth. Stun train. On the top side, Gambit is going to save Killidan. Very nice pull there as the chase continues, but no kills to be found here for Wildheart Zeta. Johanna waiting out that iron skin. Just trying to create a little bit of space here. Looks like Hogger was able to take the top camp in the meantime. Blaze is going to try to deal with that, but Jogashlu is not going to make things easy as this wave collapse is putting some serious damage on the secret. 
Thrall still hanging on the mid. Secret was looking for a stun, but not going to find it. Trying to get these sappers down. Looks like the sappers will go down to the wave and to blaze. Nice job. The Secret trades a lot of health for that one. Kira coming on up here to try to help out. Checking back in on the bottom lane. Kill it in. Cannot find Juan Pablo. Very nice concussion mine to split. The invader and the defender. And he can take a lot of damage there on the edge. Was able to get away from the lurking arm. Oh, Danny almost finding the knock up there, but Miniken felt it coming and rode the wave on out. Alters are activating here. Got four members from Team New Team down here in the bottom lane. Thrall still hanging out mid, trying to help out Blaze on these rotations. As Killidan was looking for Juan Pablo again, not finding that pull. Looks like the offlaner is going to do a simple trade here on the top side. Leaving a 4v4 for our bottom altar. There's an iron skin coming on out from Zenroth. That'll be down for about 25 seconds here. A secret wants to find a stun on the edge. Does not hit. And he can dodges everything. And now Hogger is coming on in. We get a full 5v5 over our first altar. Danny low trying to walk it on out. But Nubarak is down. Still a double kill here for Wildheart Zeta. Johanna and Sylvanas are down. Killidan is going to be saved there by Gambit. Did a little bit of a wiggle. Faked going north, Anduin saved going south, but Wildheart Zeta get the counter double kill after losing Anubarak, and that's going to allow them to get the two for one on the objective and get themselves a camp steal. Augur trying to get ahead on these rotations here. Thrall still helping out. No one's catching the mid XP. I think there's a little bit of miscommunication there as Thrall has come over to help this camp. A little bit of XP on the ground there, but still fairly even. A little bit of a lead there for Team New Team. Things come out onto the camp. Zenroth is anchoring in that bush there. As Kira waiting for a possible engage opportunity. We do have the Shattering Teeth traps coming on out now for Junkrat. Going to be looking for those concussion mines off the route. Nice silence there onto Maya. Maya trying to walk it on out of there. Kill it and will escape the lurking arm. And he can move us over the trap there with the haunting wave once again. As now sappers are marching down the bottom lane for Wildheart Zeta. Zenroth trying to gather him up here. Help Sylvanas clear them. Nice double stun there. Silence comes on through and wow, Maya goes down. Miniken on two health. Manages to get away there. Very nicely moved. Gambit may not be so lucky. That's Anduin to fall. And now Wildheart Zeta is looking to pick themselves up an early fort. The follow-ups from Ferret so far have been very, very good. Anytime Danny's even close to a stun, that lurking arm is down in the area. And that is a really big problem for the Maiev. As Maiev needs to be up there in the front and also needs to have... Those abilities online to be able to survive, so... I have been doing a pretty good job of waiting on the edges, but those Anubarak engages with Stukovs nearby are going to be pretty tough here for Killidiff. Blaze and Hogger continue their off-lane dance. Level 10s are here for Wildheart Zeta. We've got the Cocoon, Flailing Swipe, Rip Tire, Sundering, and Bunker. Right now, we see Team New Team thinking about a gank here in the mid. Secret is going to mount up and head towards the top lane. Blaze never really came within range. Juan Pablo trying to scout out these rotations, just throwing a little bit of damage into the mid there. Tens have arrived for Team New Team. We've got the Warden's Cage, Blessed Shield, Light Bomb, Augur, and Sylvanas still considering here. But this could be a big spike for Team New Team. A lot of their ults are very synergistic in terms of area blow up. As so we see the Wailing Arrow and the Shockwave locked in. Danny's going to move on in onto Miniken. There's the Sundering to try to split, but Gambit has the save. Johanna is put into the cocoon here. Jokishlu and Secret are both coming in on the flank, trying to make this a 5v5. There is the combo. Shockwave into Light Bomb. Big pull from Killidan as two are trapped in the corner. Maya and Johanna to go down, though, and Danny escapes. Wildheart Zeta staying alive there in the corner. Bunker used as well. And they grab themselves a double kill. Somehow evading the big combo there from Team New Team. It looked like they caught him. It looked like the stuns were out. 
just not quite enough to take down Wildheart Zeta there. So bottom tower remains in red control as we have a double altar face here in the top lane. We'll see what the split is like as we have sappers marching down the bottom lane. We have six eventually on the way. Looks like Secret is going to get the top right, no problem. Killidan is working here as Juan Pablo wants an interrupt, not going to give this up for free. Team New Team is still dealing with the bottom lane pressure, is going to clear one wave of sappers. There's another one on the way here. Jokashlu is going to get the interrupt onto the both with a very nice spin. Wildheart Zeta, they don't want to give this up. They want to fight if possible. Killidan is looking for a pull, does find it into Wildheart onto Juan Pablo there, and the stun train finds the lockdown to take out Junkrat. Danny going to try to walk it down the top lane. Killidan goes over the wall there. This could be trouble for Anubarak. As the Burrow Charge actually gets the tether broken, so Danny will escape. Killidan was trying to stay in range there for when the Burrow Charge ended. It was barely, barely short. Hogger running into a little bit of trouble on that rotation. There is the pull set up onto Kira. Thrall will not be pulled, though. Kira survives as Wildheart Zeta find their level 13s. Sylvanas, Minikan down there in the bottom lane is able to take back that tower for Team New Team, evening up the map here. Hogger's actually going to go down here on the top side. I didn't catch that. Stukov and Thrall finding the kill on that rotation. And now Zenroth is going to see Juan Pablo here. Johanna put over the top as Anubarak moves in onto Maiev. Kiro is waiting on the other side, though. Very nice Vault of the Wardens from Killidan. Sundering comes out onto Miniken. The wave is going to be taken. The Feral Spirit was just a moment too early there from Kira. Miniken will get away. But very nice splits there from Wildheart Zeta, staying on both sides of potential movement corridors of Team New Team, but first with Maya, then with Sylvanas. Just not quite able to lock in those kills off of their efforts. Clay's still working with Hogger here in the mid. Zenroth thinking about turning it around. Zenroth is going to get caught here by Danny, but the Iron Skin, the get out of jail free card, is used. Double Altar activating here in the bottom lane. Team New Team does have a fort to retreat to this time. As we see Thrall still in the mid. Blaze is rotating down. Looks like we have another fight on our hands. We are on even talent tiers, so no big extra advantage there. Iron Skin is available once again here for Johanna. And he can go on way into the back there, but Kira gets the stun, or the root onto two, I should say. Augur spinning into that back line there is going to find the shockwave. Junkrat is taking a lot of damage, but there's the Warden's Cage going to push Juan Pablo into Killidan's kill zone. Light Bomb is going to push Killidan away, or the uh, Concussion Mine pushes the Light Bomb on Killidan away, and now Zenroth is being chased down. Iron Skin was used early, and that is yet another double kill here for Wildheart Zeta. Bit of a back and forth fight there, very split. Juan Pablo and Ferret doing a great job of wiggling back there and staying alive versus multiple dive attempts from Maiev and Hogger. Killidan uses the Vault of the Wardens, is going to warp away there. Juan Pablo was looking for the bump off the edge of the Echo. It was just a little bit out of range. Wildheart Zeta looking for more here. Silence comes out onto Maiev. Danny just a moment too late there on the Burrow Charge. But still, Wildheart Zeta looks like they're going to get this tower back once again. Fort goes down. Back Sapper Camp is up. It looks like Juan Pablo wants to get that rolling here. Level 16s have been acquired by Wildheart Zeta. They're about to be here for Team New Team. They don't really want to pick a fight until that happens. I have an Anduin still in the mid here. Going to possibly threaten something onto Blaze. Danny looking for a stun there onto Miniken. Sylvanas does get away. On the edge here, Jokishlu has run into Blaze and Thrall. This could be trouble. Unstoppable is popped, but Jokishlu gets a bad bounce. See if the follow-up is there. Secret waiting for the cooldown is going to get hit with a shockwave. Sundering comes on out, but that means that Blaze is going to miss. Still Hogger to fall. Secret is forced to put the bunker out. Kira is going to trade here with Killidan. Root comes out, and oh, the kill is good. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Sylvanas goes down. 
Wildheart Zeta with the split fight find themselves a triple kill. Zenroth going to be bumped into rage through the trap, and that is a fourth kill for Wildheart Zeta. Unbelievable there. But those kills, if they can pick up this mid structure, they only need two channels. But if they get all three, which is honestly pretty likely, Hogger's up in 10 seconds. They're looking for Gambit right now. Junkrat's going to try the channel on the top side. They only need to wait on this channel. See if Juan Pablo is going to wait. No, is just going to go ahead and hit it and then go back for the back channel. Taking the core down to one. Looks like there's not going to be much of a contest here. Light Bomb comes on out, but we've got Junkrat channeling in the back. Juan Pablo is going to secure this game here for Wildheart Zeta. The scuffle will continue, but the core has fallen. Wildheart Zeta goes up 1-0. GG. Very nicely played. Wildheart Zeta coming out ahead there with the heavy melee comp. Able to thwart the multiple, honestly very well executed engages from Team New Team to gather them up, stun them, stun them again, get the spread damage. But the roots, the pushbacks, the bunker especially, very, very instrumental. And Wildheart Zeta picks up a solid game one. Let's go to the post-match. See what the stats can tell us here. Jokishlo on the Hogger, actually top hero damage there for Team New Team, coming out to nearly 31,000 for the blue side. Juan Pablo on the Junkrat, a little over 40,000 there for Wildheart Zeta. Staying alive for the most part in the back, one death there alongside Anubarak. Take a look at the talents as we close out our prediction here. There we go. We'll update the scoreboard and we'll get ourselves ready for a game number two. Right. Looking good, looking good. Okay. Hello and welcome back. We are setting up here for game number two, this Heroic Division matchup. Team New Team versus Wild Heart Zeta. We've got our next map loading on in here. Let's check it out. We are going to Dragonshire here for game number two. Stomp feels like a bit of an over-exaggeration, but it was a solid victory from Wildheart Zeta. It wasn't it, well, it was it wasn't a total roll, but it was a solid victory. I will put it that way. See if fortunes change here on Dragonshire. I imagine some pretty similar bands are going to be coming on out. Time will tell. The teams are mentioning that they're ready. Jump on in here as soon as the go button is hit and some number of seconds after go on by. Like it, it was a good victory, but it, I didn't. It didn't feel like Team New Team was just helpless out there. It felt like they had a good plan and they just weren't able to get the kills they were looking for off of it. They didn't look lost or trapped out there. But it depends on your your definition, your range of what you consider a stomp. I guess you'll have to check it out in the VOD if you're interested in seeing yourself. Starting things off with a Stukov ban here. Team New Team was not happy with the very strong lurking arms coming on out there in game number one. As Medivh was once again removed here by Wildheart Zeta. See if the globals are once again going to be targeted. It's going to be Junkrat banned away by Team New Team. So make, wanting to make sure that the same draft isn't just run back here, which is honestly a solid plan in a series. Make the other team show that they can play other stuff. Don't let them just play the same thing they keep beating you with. 
first pick goes over to Jokishlu. It's going to show the Hogger once again. Probably in a vacuum, the objectively best choice for the top lane. Though it all comes down to the draft, right? It all comes down to what the other team actually picks. Going to be a Rexar here for Secret as Juan Pablo 64 goes for the Grey Main. Grey Main can get a lot of work done on the camps, can get a lot of work done on top lane Siege, if that is indeed the plan here for Wildheart Zeta. Miniken going to show us some Cassia here as Zenroth goes back to the Johanna. A little bit of a blind duo there to try to make life difficult for Greymane. Rexar doesn't really like being blound as well, but Greymane definitely suffers a little more from it. Team New Team locking in those counters early. Hope you're doing well, DK. Your fired bud is here. Lupus is here. Reb's here. The whole crew hanging out. As we see once again the Phoenix band coming on out, and we see a Nubarak band by Team New Team just fully not interested in seeing any of the heroes that were picked last game by Wildheart Zeta. I have a feeling we're going to have another heavy melee draft as Danny is going to show us some variant here. And Ferret goes for the Lucio, so already not quite as melee as it was last time. But I I, I have a feeling that the, <laughs> the fifth pick is going to be a melee hero. I think it's going to be another bruiser, but we'll see what Wildheart Zeta is cooking up here. Killidan and Gambit looking for the last two picks here for Team New Team. They need a healer, they need a flex. See what they want to do to help out this Cassia. Chromie Anduin. All right, so Gambit goes back to the Anduin. Killidan is going to show us some Chromie. Chromie is a mage that I have a decent amount of experience with. A few seasons back when I was playing DPS, as we see Kira coming on through with the Deathwing. It is a melee hero. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Depending on how you play him. But I do love me some Chromie gameplay. Looks like Juan Pablo moving on over to that Deathwing. Kira is going to take the Grey Main. So it is a solo backline... Again, kind of, sort of, as Rexar is kind of, sort of, a backline. Deathwing isn't usually just standing up front. Bit of, bit of an all-over-the-place comp from Wildheart Zeta in terms of where you're standing. I'll put it that way. Here we go. Game number two on the left in the blue. We have Team New Team. Killidan is on Chromie. Miniken on the Cassia. Jokishlu on Hogger. Gambit is on the Anduin. And Zenroth is playing Johanna. Battle commencing in... On the right and the red, we have Wildheart Zeta. Ferret is on that Lucio. Kira playing Greymane. Danny on the Varian. Secret playing Rexar. And Juan Pablo 64 is on the Deathwing. Fight well, heroes. Here we go. Got that party mix pumping it up here for Lucio, wanting to get that stacked as early as possible. That's the only quest on level one. Zenroth stepping up to get that wave clear rolling. Kildan working on the edge here, trying to stress out the health, the mana bar of Rexar, getting those heals and cast. Danny on that variant, of course, not going to be the most effective of tanks here until level four. Looks like Juan Pablo 64 is going to come on down here and be somewhat of a bottom lane anchor for Wildheart Zeta. Hogger and Rexar are going to be battling it out in the top lane as Grey Mane's cleaning up the mid for now. I was wondering if maybe what some teams will do with the Varian is they'll stick Varian in the off lane until level 4. I was wondering if maybe Rexar was going to act as the main tank until that time. But Danny's going to stick with the main squad here. Camps are up, so they are getting rolling here. Wildheart Zeta going to get theirs done a little bit early because they have a Grey Main, and that is what Grey Main does. Team New Team going to get their Siege Camp out in the timely fashion as well. See Hoggers working on the left side Bruiser Camp while Grey Main gets over to the right here. So both teams getting those camps out of the way very early so they can focus on the objective that's coming up now. Rex are going to be holding down that top lane. I think Hogger wins this, yeah. 
Hogger takes all camps better than ever. Miniken's gonna come across here. It's actually gonna contest the camp here. Miniken is expecting the team to come on through. Zenroth gets the blind over the wall. Camp goes over to Wildheart Zeta. This might be more than Miniken bargained for. Nice loot horde. There's the push off from Ferret and Cassia will be caught and taken down. Secret in some trouble there as Jokishlu wants the last auto. Secret manages to get away here. There is a Dragon Knight picked up at 2 minutes and 15 seconds while all this is going on. Oh, Hogger almost got Secret on the way out, but that is another kill for Wildheart Zeta. As this Dragon Knight with approximately 33 health is going to head on down to the bottom lane. Get done whatever it can. Dragon Knight just going to do a little bit of chip damage here in the bottom lane. Deathwing, of course, can't be CC'd on the way out, but can definitely be damaged once outside of the Dragon Knight. Just going to move it on back. Not going to worry too much about getting more siege value here as the Dragon is exceedingly weak at this early point in the game. Danny is a full-on tank now. Comes out, finds a quick taunt there just to put a little extra damage onto Hogger, though that'll be cleared away by the passive healing of Hogger's trait. Full rotation here from Team New Team. Looks like they might be thinking about the bottom bruiser camp. As Danny comes on down to mash, Ferret here as well. Nice roast there on to kill it in. Require a little healing from Gambit to get back up here. Zenroth getting targeted here by Kira. Greymane, gotta watch out though, those blinds are tough, tough business here for Greymane. Augur and Rexar continuing to battle it out there in the top lane. Bruiser camp's still about two minutes away, so they don't have to deal with that soon, though the bottom Bruiser camp is definitely a prize that both of these teams would like to claim. Out onto Johanna, gonna be Gambit coming on through with the Leap of Faith save. the brawl continues. Siege camps are about to come up here. Let's see if there's going to be any invade or any shenanigans on these siege camps. Kira on there straight away. Anduin wanting to start it up here, but Cassia's got to catch that mid lane soak. So team new team not going to be able to start their siege camp immediately. Johanna gathering them up here. Secret manages to not get hit there by the stun. Misha going to be taken out here as Jogashlu got a good bounce to get away. Danny going ahead and checking that left side camp, seeing if there's an opportunity. Sometimes teams will get greedy and just send one to clear. That's where you can go in and invade for free. No such luck though for Wildheart Zeta, as Team New Team gathering up to get that siege camp out. About a level lead here for Wildheart Zeta as the root comes out onto Lucio on the top side. Zenroth going to take a hit there as Juan Pablo following up with the Molten Breath. Danny is in trouble here though, is in tower range and Varian goes down. Minion Wave had been cleared. That is the first kill here. The second kill actually coming on out as Rexar goes down to Jokishlu in the top lane, a rare 1v1 kill. All the while though, another Dragon Knight has been picked up during all of the commotion here by Wildheart Zeta. Dragonite gonna work on the mid here as the chase continues in the bottom lane. Kira and Ferret get away as we now have a siege camp for Team New Team and they're looking to take out this wall. Varian back on the battlefield as tens are coming online. We've got the burn beneath my wings. Oh, that's the bellowing roar coming on out here. Bellowing roar here for the Deathwing. Warbringer for Varian, so no shield wall, instead going for the charge cooldown. We've got the boars here for Rexar, Curse Bullet for Greymane, and High Five for Lucio. Tens are in for Team New Team as well. Shockwave, Slowing Sands, Ball Lightning, Blessed Shield, and Light Bomb are going to be the choice here. You saw that vision coming on out from Chromie. Killadin is coming on down try to force a fight here. Kira and Ferret are going to have to back off. Meanwhile in the mid here, Jokishlu and Secret continue to battle. Big flank here from Danny. 
There's the root. There's no tower this time to target variants, so Danny does get away. Big fear onto Zenroth, and Johanna will fall. Very nice Bellerin roar from Juan Pablo 64. Danny flirting with danger there in front of those towers as Juan Pablo ushers these, this fairly large wave in. That'll be quickly cleared up. Bottom camp is ultimately taken here by Wildheart Zeta. Kira able to get going on that one. Deathwind catching that mid experience. One thing that Wildheart Zeta has been doing a really good job of is not grouping up all the time unless it's necessary. They're leaking out their flex to the mid to make sure XP is caught. You see Rexar is able to move on up to the top lane, grab that wave as Deathwing dealt with the mid. You see that th the experience here. Prepare yourself oh, I don't have the right one. I think it's control four. Yeah, there it is. A little bit ahead on that minion experience is Wildheart Zeta. Cruiser camps are coming on up here, so both teams just going to go ahead and get those out as quickly as possible. Secret working on the top lane here, getting them minions in range. Left side siege is up, right side siege was already taken. So we have another objective phase rolling. Wildheart Zeta might be looking for another extremely quick cap here. As Danny is going to go ahead and lock it in, and that is a third Dragon Knight in less than nine minutes here for Wildheart Zeta. Team New Team having a tough time with these objective captures. Dragons get head up to the top lane here and try to move on in with this Bruiser Camp. Right now, Jogashlu the only one here. Juan Pablo 64 going to go ahead and get the ult back to safety. Trying to deal with this bottom lane pressure here from Team New Team. Juan Pablo 64 got to watch out as the team is just walking into fort range here. Rexar coming on down as top lane fort goes down. We'll see if they want to push across the bridge here. It looks like they do as Team New Team is stuck in their push here. Blessed Shield comes on out as they want to find Secret. Light Bomb does not connect, is pushed away by the Bellowing Roar. Secret and Juan Pablo going to survive here, 4v2 in the bottom lane. Hogger trying to solo defend here as the Dragon Knight picks up the top wall and starts to walk on out. Team New Team is going to pick up the bottom fort though, so that will help create a little bit of space on the map here and possibly not give away the next dragon as easily. Team will go ahead and warp on back to safety. Right now, Wildheart Zeta, not a whole lot to do. Still about a minute till any other camp is up and available. Team New Team, similar situation here. Gonna try to safely soak 16 as Wildheart Zeta has about a three-quarter lead right now. Three-quarter of a level lead, I should say. Good scouts there from Team New Team. Danny and Juan Pablo were certainly waiting on that left corridor. Danny wants the rest of the team here. Greymane is close. Minikan is going to get taunted. The stun, not going to land. Gambit with the save. Luckily, the engage cooldown of Wildheart Zeta is pretty short. Shorter than the Leap of Faith cooldown that Anduin provides. Though at level 16, that's going to be an even shorter cooldown, as I imagine we're going to see Anduin grab the two charges of Leap of Faith. Camps are starting to come on back up again here. We see Wildheart Zeta on the right, getting their siege camp rolling. Bottom Bruiser camp's about to come up. So we'll see what the rotations look like here. Team New Team staying together in the bottom lane, trying to hold out for level 16. The Shrines are activating once again. All together here, Taunt comes out onto Zenroth. Follow-up from Misha is good. Danny's caught in the slowing sands, but still high on health. 16s are now here for Team New Team. They could possibly take a fight if they'd like. Bottom Bruiser Camp is being worked on, but Chromie gets the scout. Still, Bruisers are going to go over to Wildheart Zeta. 
as they are still grouped together as five here in the bottom lane. Hogger's in the top lane. You see Danny trying to get an engage here. Ors do come on out. And chase away a couple members. Looks like we've got a siege camp possible capture. And oh, looks like we've got ourselves a pause here. Here we go. Deathwing's over the top here. Wildheart Zeta's going to try to engage onto this bottom structure. Zenroth in trouble is going to be feared into the back, and Johanna will go down. The chase continues on past the fort here. Can J Gambit and Miniken get away? Killidan is going to be pulled back to safety. But Zeta find the kill onto that front line, and they're looking to pick up the last fort here in the bottom lane. Miniken is going to be stopped there. Chromie trying to give that armor. There's the pull. And he can does get away. Jockishlu in trouble. Gets the heal there in the Desperate Prayer from Gambit. Gambit's been doing a great job so far on the end. Anduin. Really coming on through clutch. It's not just about pressing the button for the save. It's about being in the right position to find that save. And Gambit has been pristine with that positioning thus far. Meanwhile, Wildheart Zeta looking to pick up another dragon here. Deathwing in the top lane looking to help convert. Secret's going to channel. We're going to have ourselves another Dragon Knight here for Wildheart Zeta. What's the plan? What are we doing? Oh, we're going. Okay, we're up. Back. It's okay. Secret. Going to be on the way here. I do like me some ketchup chips, but these were just Ruffles plain chips. They're left over from the cottage. <laughs> Wildheart Zeta going to be walking it down the bottom lane here. Going to get some damage on the wall, possibly threaten to keep, if they are lucky. Hogger dealing with top lane bruiser camp pressure as Deathwing getting the lane pushed in the mid. Time stop comes on out here as Dragonite trying to step forward. Finds the quick boot onto Chromie. He's going to get a couple of auto attacks onto this keep, but uh oh time stop comes on it. We'll see if the Dragonite can move away. Secret is going to get caught there. Nice stasis. Avoids the main combo. Secret going to try to walk it on back. Nice unstoppable there. The light bomb is going to hit onto Greymane, but Jockishlu is lost in the mix. Augur goes down. Very nice in vulnerables and unstoppables there from Wildheart Zeta to avoid the major engage there from Team New Team. Pushing the top lane continues here. Desync. Hope the stream's doing okay. I do hope the stream's doing okay. My dropped frames are actually surprisingly low. I'm pretty happy with how the stream's going. Juan Pablo going to pressure through the mid here. It's Wildheart Zeta continues keeping up that minion pressure, keeping up that camp pressure in all lanes. Taunt comes out from Danny. Chromie nearly caught there. Kill it and has to be saved by Gambit after popping the stasis. This mid tower goes down. Wildheart Zeta finds their 20s. They've got pressure in the top lane. It's got to be dealt with here by Jogashlu. We've got the siege camp in the bottom lane. Misha finding the quick stun there as Deathwing threatening to drop down in the area. Root comes out from the ult of Rexar. Stream's fine? Okay, cool. Fuku boo. Taunt onto the front line. Coming on down here is Deathwing. Zenroth was saved by Gambit. But the keep is in trouble here. Zenroth on low health is hard, having a hard time stepping up. Killidan is slowed by the lava pool. Killidan gets away. Danny having to walk it on back here as this keep is wailing on that front line of Wildheart Zeta. Gonna have to move on back, and they will not be able to claim this keep just yet. There must always be a ah, okay. okay. Desync is one of those, like, streamer trigger words. You're just like, oh, no. Sacre bleu. Not the desync. I don't think I've ever had, like, audio desync issues. Like, there's some streamers, just the way that their setup is. Like, their microphone gets on a weird delay, and they have to go fix that. The main thing that's happened to me before is my computer's blue screen. 
and I've tried to come back, and for some reason Twitch just doesn't, like, get the audio at all. Despite all the green bars, despite everything saying it's fine, Twitch just doesn't hear anything because of how OBS closed. That's the, that's the thing that's happened more than a couple times to me. <laughs> Danny coming on in for the flank, looking for someone in that back line. Minikan is booted up into the air here. Zenroth is trying to peel for that back line. Dragonite steps up, is wanting to get this keep down to aid in a further engage here. Time stop from Chromie stops things for now as Danny moves forward onto Zenroth. Augur in the back line, finds the stun, but is quickly cleansed by Lucio. Jokishlu is going to be kicked away into the back. He's probably going to have to hearth on back to base. Bellering Roar hitting three members of Team New Team as Minikan in big trouble. Cassia goes down. Gambit trying to board everyone else away here. Zenroth walking it on back. That's Johanna to fall, but Lucio actually goes down as well. The no control from Hogger doing a little bit of work, but not before Hogger falls. Three for one here for Wildheart Zeta, and they are threatening the core. Kira's got to watch out for those stuns, watch out for that keep in the mid, as Gambit finds a quick stun onto Danny. Kira's still working on the core here, as quick watch out. Varian is going to go down. Kira taking some big hits there as Chromie wants these last hits, rolls away, and this is going to be Wildheart Zeta picking up the 2-0 in the series victory. Very nicely done. Wild Heart Zeta once again showing what they can do in these team fights, what they can see coming on out from Team New Team to deny the big engage combos and strike back. That brings them the 2 0. Let's check out the post match here. Kill it in on the Chromie. Over 76,000 hero damage on zero deaths. Playing a very nice game there for Team New Team. Juan Pablo on the Deathwing, top siege, top hero damage, actually getting ahead of Greymane in the end there by about 600 damage. Another zero death lead there for Wildheart Zeta. Take a quick look at the talents. So we update the scoreboard and we'll see if we can find ourselves an interview with our victors. Hello, hello, hello. Juan, thank hey. you very much for joining me. Congratulations on the 2-0. Thanks. Uh, tell me about the series. Did you feel like, you know, was there a lot of prep that went into this matchup? Do you feel like things went roughly the way you were expecting? I think things went pretty well. We've been practicing a lot, like, throughout the past month or so since we've joined Wildheart. And uh, Whisper and everybody has been helping us get together and all that. Like, you saw something a little different with the Deathwing. Like, Holding bottom and all that. Definitely some very interesting drafts. The main, the main thing that I saw in the first one was picking four melee into Johanna Maev. Can you tell me a little bit more about how that draft plays out and how it didn't really go the way it possibly looked from the start? Uh, I don't really feel like... I'm not usually the one who drafts, but I think the whole idea was mostly just for... To try to like, if somebody isn't able to hit the unstoppable, they just die. So you just force them to blow their cooldowns, and you back off, and you play around the junk rat traps. Okay, that so was the general just, idea. Okay, so just more of an abundance of CC to punish that front line. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was very, very well executed there. Honestly, in both games, one of the things that I was seeing was y your team seemed to have a really good eye for what the enemy was trying to do in team fights and denying that. Do you feel like that's a sort of a strength of your squad when it comes to these matchups? Uh, I think so, yeah. We're pretty vocal about every, what everybody has and all that. And if somebody makes a mistake, you know, we just make a... We let them know. That way they just have an idea in the future. So, like, uh, I noticed Hogger tried to play a lot from behind. So I tried to, like, keep vision on him and make it a little bit harder for him to engage. Yeah, I mean, just the adjustments made through both games were very, it was very cool to see. Um, you know, not just trying to execute on what you're doing, but trying to thwart what the enemy is doing. I thought it was very, it was a, it was a cool match. Very, very cool match. So tell me, um, tell me about um, how Wildheart Zeta is doing sort of in general this season. I know Bronze 6 was together for quite a while. 
Have there been any sort of changes in personnel, changes in, you know, practice time, you know, coach time now that you've joined a new organization? Uh, we've been scrimming a lot more and having uh, some people just kind of go over, like, what our weaknesses are and just try to work on them. Like, a big one beforehand was our, our vocalization during games with not calling cooldowns, targets, and all that. And now everybody's kind of, like, more on the same page. Like uh, yeah. like an example of that was whenever the game was paused for that little bit, I made a I made a shot call that I was gonna ult onto the keep as Deathwing just to zone them out so we could just get the fort for free. Okay, yeah, I mean, developing that communication as a team is uh, it, it's tough it's tough work. So it's cool to see that's you know a big focus there for Zeta. Uh, looking forward in the uh, in the schedule, are there any other matchups coming up that you're really looking forward to? Maybe teams that you've, you know, come up with through past seasons that you want to face? It was mostly this one. I got a couple of friends on the other team, so I've been looking forward to going against them. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you did find the 2-0 here tonight in very decisive fashion, so congratulations once again on that. Uh, why don't you tell folks where they can find you when you're not, uh, when you're not here? Uh... You can check the, the Wild Heart website and find my Twitter link. I don't post on there much, but I might try to look to do a couple of things for Wild Heart since they got me in. All right. Good to hear. Well, Juan, thank you so much for coming on by. Grats again on the win. And uh, good All luck right, going forward you. in the season. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, you too.